This is advice for when your flight is about to crash, written by death himself. Do not romanticize this, for you are falling through 36,000 feet of a gravity you were hoping would hold you up. Now I am coming for you and for the 99 other passengers on board, and let me tell you, there is nothing graceful or beautiful about a sudden, unwanted demise. But do think of romance. Think of love, write your will on the napkin that came with your ginger ale, write a poem, write a love letter, whatever you want. It may be that only the soot underneath your hands reads it, but you will have written it with a symphony in your chest. Remember your heart now. Your heart is young. Your heart is old. Your heart is the oxygen mask you put over your mouth with such desperate, shaking fingers. It always felt as though it could inflate just a wee bit more, but that was all standard procedure. Your heart is grateful, yet also disappointed that it helped you survive. It apologizes on how you must go down. Allow your hands to tremble, be bitter, be angry, because being at peace on this machine, this machine now called fatality, it is bullshit for most people. So look out the window and imagine that the clouds above you are on fire. Pretend that the sky is a great gaping pit that may be able to swallow you whole. Surely that would be quicker. But whatever you do, do not refer to yourself in the past tense, not even in your very last moment, for even then, you will still have a trickle of oxygen left in your airbag lungs. You will know when you are a past tense in God's grammar textbook. But I hope you know you will never be a past tense in the minds of your parents and your children and your life partner and all of your friends. They will still save you a seat at Thanksgiving dinner, leave presents for you under the Christmas tree. Perhaps some of them will even pray to you as though you could help them more than any deity out there. You are still going to be cherished. I hope you know that. And now, all there is left for me to do is ask for your forgiveness in what I am about to do. Godspeed, my friend.